How long does it go? I started fly fishing when I was 11 or 12 years old. It's always sort of been the fabric which I've tried to weave the, you know, thread of my life through. Yeah, I'm lucky. I've I've lived and worked in a number of places where trout fishing and other kinds of fishing are readily available. Living in Alaska has been pretty outstanding for me. I don't get to take as much advantage of the opportunities as I would like, but I certainly spend more time on the water than most people. I don't think I've ever consciously decided to not go fishing. I think whenever I've been faced with the decision to do something, I've always taken the easier way out. And here I am on the water. Make him jump again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's like a really efficient with the kind of people who end up you know, smoking crack recreationally. Summertime is always tough. The days are long. You're on the water a long time. It doesn't leave much time for campfires or drinking. You know, all fall we try to, in winter we tie a lot of flies, do a lot of campfire, just do a lot of camping. In addition to getting our six, eight hours of daylight on the water. My home river is a roadside attraction, which is a little odd. In a state full of exotic destinations that most people will probably consider an exotic destination in and of itself. That doesn't mean there's no way out away from the crowds. All winter it's mine. And all is splendor. Yeah, sure, it's colder. 
fishing's tougher. But if you want it, all you gotta do is get there. And it might not be the Alaska that you read about, but each step gets you that much closer to your appointment with Walter. this eagle will fly. <laughs> I bet if you splash at him with a seal club he'll take off. We just followed that eagle 360 degrees and he flew off with a fish, dude. 